New tonight at 10, a celebration for an important anniversary. Today on the north side of Denver, a huge cookout was held for Servicios de la Raza. Marissa Armas was there for that celebration and as part of CBS 4's commitment to elevating Latino voices. And Marissa, today's event really does mark an important milestone. It does, Kelly, and this fiesta was more than just a celebration. It was a way to honor all the contributions this organization has made over the last 50 years. Many people don't know, but this actually started during the Chicano movement here, and it continues to stay true to its mission. The lowriders' food and music might get the community out, but it's the labor of Servicios de la Raza over the last 50 years that tugs at the heart. Personally, for me, they've helped me enroll into healthcare. They have also helped me with my uh, school. What started in 1972 as a 12 member group offering just mental health services has evolved into a full on statewide human services organization, helping people with food, health care, financial assistance, and more. Over 50 years, we've been empowering community and making sure that our people thrive within their circumstances. The Chicano founded Chicano led agency started in the North Side to serve not just Latinos, but all underserved communities. We are a strong advocate activist organization. If it hurts people or community, we're standing up and we're giving voice to those people and communities. And we are the subject area experts in so many areas along the social determinants of health that when we speak, it makes a difference. Every year, the organization provides services to more than 30,000 people, making it the largest Latino serving nonprofit in the state. We are committed to community comes first. I think that is uh, the secret salsa to our success. 50 years of commitment, 50 years of labor from an organization that is continuing to push for equity and justice for those who need it most. Servicios is here, that we are here to continue to serve community. Several awards were given to many of our local leaders. Governor Polis also spoke. The organization was able to feed at least 5,000 people. In Denver, Marissa Armas covering Colorado First.